What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I'm gonna discuss with you 10 things alpha males get wrong. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Brandon J, salute. Now before we get started, I need to let you know, I really don't believe in these labels, beta, alpha, or any other labels people come up with. But I do believe labels and the traits that fall under these labels can be informative. I think there are some characteristics you should strive to have when it comes to your stereotypical alpha male. But don't take it too far. And that's what we're gonna discuss on today's video. We're gonna talk about why, although some alpha males may have the right intentions, they may take these characteristics a little too far. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it. The first thing alpha males often get wrong, they confuse aggressiveness with assertiveness. Yes, you wanna be assertive, but you don't necessarily wanna be aggressive. What's the difference? Aggressiveness and assertiveness are just two different ways of handling conflict. Assertiveness is standing up for yourself in a positive way, not letting people push you over. Assertiveness is productive. On the other hand, aggressiveness is non-productive. It's threatening, it's attacking, and it's ignoring. You're just running people over. So make sure you walk that fine line. A man should stand up for himself, but not at the expense of others. Be assertive, not aggressive. Which leads nicely into my next point on how alpha males can take it too far. Sometimes people who strive to be alpha think they have to be super dominant. No, you don't. Yes, you should strive to win as much as you can, but life is not a zero sum game. You don't have to win every time and everybody else loses. Other people should win some time as well. And here's the thing, you need to keep in mind that power and opportunity are exponential. The more not only that you win, but those around you win, you all benefit. And one of the things a man should strive to do as you try to win, you wanna create allies, not enemies. Yes, you wanna win as much as possible, but it doesn't mean everybody else loses. Now, one of the traits that people from afar, especially ones who strive to be more alpha, think they see in alpha guys, they believe that alpha males are fearless. That's not true. Every smart man knows life has risks. Those alpha males you may be looking up to, they take calculated risks, and they also know when to sit this one out. They realize you should have dreams and aspirations, and you should go for them, but not recklessly. So that stereotype you may have in your head of the alpha male fearing nothing, that's not true. In fact, a lot of alpha males know they might be on the right path when they are nervous. So remember, you shouldn't avoid risk. You should go for it. Just take calculated risks. Another huge mistake I believe some alphas make, they're often too stubborn. Here's the thing. In life, you have to have the ability to adapt. Yes, you can have a plan. You can figure out what you're going to do. But when the conditions in the field change, you have to have the ability to change as well. This attitude of I know what I'm doing and nobody's gonna push me off your square, you're gonna get stuck on that square. Yes, you should stand firm in your beliefs. Yes, you should have core principles from where you operate. But you also have to have the ability to adapt. Life is full of ups and downs and situations change. You need to be able to change as well. I want you to stand firm, I want you to have your convictions, but I don't want you to be stubborn. Another problem I see with alpha males and those who aspire to be alpha males, they believe the only emotion alpha males have and should have is anger. In my opinion, that's pretty silly. Just like any other human being, the alpha male experiences a full range of emotions. The thing is you don't wanna do is be controlled by your emotion. That's what the opposite of the alpha male gets wrong, the beta male. Men think, they figure things out, they make decisions. They don't base their actions off their feelings, but they acknowledge their feelings. They process their feelings. But after processing their emotions, then they make a decision. But remember, we have more emotions than just anger. Society often tells us men can show anger, but no other emotions. Should you wear your emotions on your sleeve? No, 
but don't think anger is the only emotion that's appropriate for a man. Now, another trait you definitely don't want to have that alpha males often confuse, they believe they should not be nice, but nor should they be kind. They're right about not being nice, but you do want to be kind. And here's the difference. Kind people do things because they want to, they want to help other people, they're compassionate and generous, but they don't use these kind actions to manipulate other people or gain favor. And they don't do them at their own expense. A good man is a kind man. He's generous, he's compassionate, but up to a point. So don't confuse the fact that nice guys finish last, meaning you can never do kind things for other people. You just do them because they're the right thing you want to and to a limit and boundary you set. Now next up is definitely a pet peeve of mine when it comes to so-called alpha male. They believe you can show no interest or not care what women think or like. That's just silly. But here's where the beauty in life lives in the gray areas. A man should know what women like, be aware of it, but should not be ruled by what women think or like. You need to have the information. And if there's some things in your behavior you need to tweak to make yourself more attractive to women, that's okay. And it's also okay to express interest in women. Being a gentleman doesn't make you a simp. And here's where extremes can get you in trouble. A lot of guys who aspire to be alpha think showing any interest in women is weak. That couldn't be further from the truth. You want the information and know what women like, but you don't want to be ruled by it. And just like you want the information on what women like, that's why the next problem can be a big one for alpha males. They often think only their opinion matters. That's just silly. Yes, you want to be firm in what you believe in and think about your value and your opinion coming first but that doesn't mean you don't take in more information. A wise man is always seeking more information and more knowledge. You can get that from other people's points of view. But that doesn't mean just because you take in someone else's point of view, you have to change yours. It just gives you another angle to look at things from. And that's always useful. You aren't, and I'm not, always going to be right. Yes, you need to validate and value your opinion the most, but it doesn't mean other people's opinion doesn't have value as well. Remember, the more information you take in, the better decisions you can make. Now, one of the things the opposite of the alpha male, the beta male gets wrong, they often have inferiority complexes. On the other end of the extreme, the so-called alpha male often thinks he's superior to everyone. That's not smart. That often can lead to the problem we talked about earlier, feeling like he always has to win. He has to be super dominant. It often makes him feel like he's intrinsically above others. Now hear me out, there are hierarchies in life. You do earn rank, but listen to the key word I use, you earn rank. Just because you see yourself as this alpha male doesn't automatically put you above others. Oftentimes the alpha male loses that little bit of humility we all need. Yes, you wanna have a high opinion of yourself. But make sure this high opinion is based on your efforts. Just because you see yourself as this strong alpha male doesn't automatically make you superior. Something else I definitely believe alpha males can often get wrong, they believe a real man never apologizes. Couldn't be further from the truth. Here's the thing, a real man does this, he takes accountability. Now I'm not telling you to go around apologizing and saying I'm sorry all the time. But if you're truly wrong and you wrong somebody, Acknowledge it. Let's not get it confused. We all get things wrong sometimes. Sometimes we offend and hurt other people. It's okay to take accountability when you do that. I'm not gonna tell you I go around saying I'm sorry very often. I don't think I'm wrong that often. I might need to work on that. However, when I am wrong, I don't hesitate to apologize. I don't say I'm sorry often, but I will say I was wrong. I apologize, it won't happen again. So remember, as an alpha male, you're not perfect. You do make mistakes. If you do something wrong, there's nothing wrong with apologizing. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm not a big fan of labels, but they can be informative. They can give you some guidelines to work within. And if you strive to be an alpha male, that's not all bad, but just make sure you don't take it too far. As always, I love to have your opinion. Let me know, did I get it right? Or do you have some things you think alpha males get wrong as well? Let me know in the comment section.